Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Hot Toys MMS 433 Grand Moff Tarkin. For a place to get all your collectibles, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so ever since Hot Toys started making their original trilogy figures, I think Grand Moff Tarkin is probably one of the most anticipated figures. Um, I think uh, the last time this was done uh, was quite a long time ago uh, by Sideshow. Um, and definitely with this Hot Toys version, uh, this is pretty much the definitive version and will probably be so for uh, quite a few years to come. Um, I think uh, they've done a fantastic job overall, um, but uh, I'll quickly go through the packaging. As you can see, uh, the usual box art and the uh, cardboard insert there with Vader in the background. Uh, this is just the single release, not the uh, double pack with Vader as I already have the previous A New Hope Vader. Um, you'll notice that uh, the prototype people were saying that the head sculpts were uh, tweaked a little bit. I think uh, the only major difference that I can see um, is probably the colouring of the hair, uh, which um, I'll show you guys a, a little bit uh, in a second. Uh, I think the uh, prototype and uh, I think in the movie as well, he had a bit more grey, uh, but the figure itself um, has a very similar sort of colouring to the... Uh, old Han from The Force Awakens, where the the coloring is almost a uh, almost a bronze color, so it's almost got like a goldish bronze uh, tinge to it um, instead of a a gray. And I would have much preferred a gray. Um, I guess the other big difference is the the costume. Um, it's not as uh, green as uh, the the prototype, um, and I think uh, depending on the scene that you see in the movie um, and the color timing that they've used, it's a sort of a grayish greenish color anyway. Um, but um, overall, in person, the, the shade of uh, green is, is pretty good. Um, the material looks different to the prototype as well. Uh, the prototype material, I'm not sure if you can really see there, <clears throat> is almost like a, a cotton uh, thicker material, whereas the final production version is a very nice uh, tailored thin uh, soft material, um, which I think uh, does the job. Uh, pretty damn well so uh, but I'll show you guys a, a closer look at that but um, I'll get the boxes out the way hold on all right accessories wise he comes with the standard rectangular base this time it doesn't have the great look um, for the other uh, New Hope figures uh, which is a shame uh, for consistency but um, I guess this was uh, probably the uh, floor style of the uh, control room that he uh, usually stood in uh, would have been nice if they had a swap out option but um, either way um, it does look uh, pretty nice uh, also comes with of course his chair comes in a couple of pieces so this uh, piece at the bottom here you just uh, insert you just you do need to give it a push a hard push just to insert it all the way um, this sort of uh, lever here knob doesn't work uh, it's not a functioning uh, thing to make this go up and down or anything and the wheels don't roll either uh, which was a shame I actually thought it were it was going to be uh, rolling wheels uh, you can rotate them but I'm not sure why you would want to just rotate them uh, but the seat itself is a nicely molded uh, sort of matte black plastic uh, so there's no paint application on it but um, the styling is pretty consistent with the, the, the look in the movie um, it does uh, take a bit of effort to get him to sit on this uh, quite naturally um, there is an ab crunch in the figure but the costume itself is a, a little bit firm at the front uh, near the ab area and the legs don't uh, fold all the way up too so I won't be uh, posing him uh, sitting in this um, but um, I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want it uh, just sitting there in the display with him standing next to it with Vader. But um, I definitely won't be uh, using it for, for him to sit on. Um, accessories it also comes with these four uh, code cylinders. I didn't even know that they were called code cylinders until I looked in the instruction manual. I guess um, I never really gave too much thought onto what these things were on their, their costumes, but um, I had to uh, Google it. And apparently these uh, not only designated rank, but also um, had their codes for accessing certain areas of the Death Star and, and so on. So nice bit of uh, backstory there. But um, you do just insert them into uh, these little slots in his outfit um, on the top two sides there. Um, they are a bit tight, so I'll, I'll do that a bit later. Um, but um, I might use one of those Hot Toys uh, little tools to just loosen up the, the, the holes there. Uh, hands, uh, Hot Toys does a fantastic job with uh, sculpting old hands, uh, similar to the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Old Han, and the paint application is uh, 
pretty much uh, spot on. Uh, the hands are a little oversized though, particularly uh, this one here. Uh, so these two are used for his uh, um, that stance where he's got his hand under his his uh, other arm, and this one's the bent arm with uh, his hand on his chin or near his chin. But this hand here, when I pulled this out and looked at it, it looked like um, American Werewolf in London with the uh, elongated fingers there as the uh, he was changing into the werewolf. <laughs> But uh, that's the first thing that came to mind, um, and in some photos um, it does look a, a little bit ridiculously long. But um, I'll try and uh, hide that as much as I can with the pose, um, but I will try and use this one uh, for that uh, iconic pose of his. But um, I'll get the figure out now, hold on. And here it is, and on the whole uh, there really isn't too much more you could ask for a Grand Moff Tarkin figure. Now, zooming in on this amazing head sculpt, it's probably not going to come out too much on the uh, viewfinder here, but the sculpting details are pretty much spot on. Um, I guess with final production, the the wrinkles perhaps are a tad uh, softer than the original prototype, but um, you still get the sort of um, wrinkling details in his uh, cheek areas there, the mouth, even under the chin, um, along the neck there have those uh, elderly sort of aging lines. Um, what I was saying before about the hairline, you don't get too much grey in there at all. It's more of this sort of light bronzy colour. But again, the stranding detail in Hot Toys is uh, pretty much second to none in the uh, 1-6 scale figures. Um, I can't think of any other company that does the sort of detailed stranding and realism uh, that they do this the paint application on the skin has that incredible uh, light freckling for that realism and the eyes on this one um, have that beautiful glassy look um, and that steely stare of his. I think the eyes, maybe a, a slight difference in the sculpt, the eyes do look um, slightly larger on the prototype um, and this one here he has more of a maybe even a slight uh, squinted look but um, overall I think uh, this is pretty much spot on to A New Hope. Uh, the outfit itself, as I was saying before, I'm not sure if you're going to pick it up. The material is a beautifully tailored, thin material. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's like a soft. It's not suede. It's not uh, cotton. I'm not quite sure what uh, what they've used, um, but it's a very nice, soft, felt-like material. Um, and, and as you turn it around, uh, the tailoring is just incredible. Uh, the belt there at the back. Um, it is just velcroed on, so you can adjust it if uh, if you want to. Uh, but I'll probably leave it um, the way it is. Uh, the belt does have these uh, silver accents on it. Um, apparently, uh, that's not uh, quite uh, movie accurate, in that those were meant to be just uh, uh, belt holes, really, um, and not uh, silver studs. Uh, but I guess Hot Toys decided to put those on uh, just to accent that. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, this, uh, what I didn't notice before was this uh, lapel here is uh, magnetized. I'm not sure why they did that, but you can lift that up. I mean, it just magnetizes on. It does make that side stick up a little bit, but um, I'm not sure if that's uh, movie accurate or not, to be honest. Uh, but you can uh, sort of futz around with that. Uh, the lengths of the sleeves, um, they look pretty good when his arms are at his side and uh, you know you see just the tips of his white shirt. I think there is an issue when you sort of bend his elbow. It is a double jointed elbow um, and it tends to sort of ride up and um, show the uh, the wrist area there. But uh, mine doesn't look too bad um, and so I'm, I'm definitely going to have him pose with that uh, arm bent. Um, and uh, I think uh, showing that little bit of the sleeve there um, it's pretty pretty much movie accurate as well, so I'm not too fussed about that. So I do like the double jointed elbows. You're not going to have this guy in any sort of dramatic dynamic pose anyway. Um, there are double jointed knees as well, um, and the suit the suit the pants are a little bit tight and restrictive. Uh, you just uh, might need to just futz the uh, the centering of it um, and have him standing there. I like the way they sort of flare out as they should um, along his his uh, thighs there, um, so overall I think they look fantastic. The boots are fabric or fake leather boots um, and they've obviously uh, learned their lesson around padding out um, the uh, the ankle area 
uh, from the Han Solo. The Han Solo boots were, were terrible with the, the indentation at the back. Uh, this one still has a little bit of an indentation, but uh, nowhere near the level of, of Han. So it really depends on how you pose it. Um, and I do like, um, they do have a bit of give, um, so they're not overly too tight or too loose. Um, and the styling is very nice. Um, but that is pretty much it um, for Grand Moff Tarkin. I think he's going to look fantastic posed up next to uh, Darth Vader. And I'll um, post up some photos on the uh, Cool Collectibles Facebook page uh, with my new acrylic cases um, set up with Tarkin. And so pretty much um, in that particular Imperial case, um, the only character left um, coming later this year will be uh, Emperor Palpatine himself. So I'm looking forward to finishing that case off. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully uh, you like that quick look at Grand Moff Tarkin uh, and can click that like and subscribe button. I do have the Hot Toys Homecoming Spider-Man coming soon too. Um, and uh, hopefully a few other things coming um, as well from uh, Sideshow and Big Bad Toy Store. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.